Hey, Cameron McKenzie here. I'm the editor-in-chief over at theserverside.com, and you can follow me on Twitter at CameronMCNZ. Right now, I want to talk to you about the git log command, specifically the one-line option that you have in the git log command. But I, you know, I, I'm going to cover that quickly. If you stick around, I wouldn't mind showing you a couple of other neat little tricks that you can do with the git log from creating a graph to having sort of a custom string of your one-line output as well. As you can see, I've got my GitLab repository here with a, a long history of commits. I'm going to use the git log to go through this and use the git log one line command specifically and then show you how to use that. But uh, the first thing I need to do in order to kick this example off is just clone that repository. So I'm going to open up terminal and as long as you got that URL, it can be GitLab, it can be GitHub, really doesn't matter. I'm going to do a git clone, paste that in there. and then just cd into that GitLab made easy directory. And you can see all of my code in there. Now, when you're working with git log, if you just do git log, it does this. I think that's a, a full output or something like that. It's not particularly handsome if you ask me. And even getting through it, it's a bit of a bore. And you know, for me, I just wanna see the history. So just click the letter Q to get out of there. And you can just do a git log git log dash dash pretty equals one line. And with this option, you can see that it's a lot more compact. So you get the, the hash, you get the git commit message. Now that's actually the, the pretty option. There's actually a shortcut for that. Then you can just actually go git log dash dash one line. And you can see it provides the hash, but a shortened hash, and then the commit message here as well. So that kind of tidies things up a little bit. So that's the basic idea with the one line command. Now, I, if I've got you here, I wouldn't mind showing you a couple of other git log commands too. So if you just want to see the one line, I mean, you, you log off right now, but you know, I mean, it'd be a shame for you to not take a look at maybe how you could use the uh, git log graph command with one line. And so git log graph dash dash one line, actually I don't think the one line makes any difference here, but that'll actually give you a, a graph of your git log. And you can see here, what this is telling me is that, you know, there's my master branch. It looks like I merged off into a feature branch and then that feature branch merged into master here. It looks like there was also a development branch here that did a merge. And so you can actually get a, a pretty interesting graph just from this bash command line tool. And it compares to the graph that I get inside of GitLab. I mean, maybe GitLab's a little bit nicer, but you know, for a command line tool, I think that's pretty handsome. And you know, you can also pretty up your commits as well. So you can do something like, uh, well, do something like this. You can say, hey, git log, um, git log pretty. And then you can just do the formatting. So here I'm going to control it. I'm going to say, hey, in yellow, I want to print out the hash, and that's percentage hash there. And then in blue, I want to print out the word date and then the uh, date that the commit happened. And then I want to print out in red the word message, colon, and then the actual message associated with the commit. And I want it in kind of a human format of the date. I'll open that up a little bit there. There's date equals human, there's date equals short, there's a bunch of them. I just like date equals human, I like the way it sounds. But there you go, now you've got your git message, commit messages on one line, but you formatted it exactly the way that you want it, right? And that's the, I believe that the uppercase H is the full hash, this is the short hash. And you can see that's kind of, I've got full control over how that has been formatted there. And I think that's, that's pretty cool. Um, you know, and there's, other options to you know you can do like uh, git log raw and then that gives you all of the raw data now I don't know if you can actually include one line on that um, yeah it doesn't really do I think that just overrides it but it gives you an idea you know there's a bunch of other formats there's like raw there's short which might be helpful there is even one called email where you can you know, get an output of the email person, the email address of the person who did the commit. 
So there's a, a bunch of options. But you know, the bottom line, if you're using the git log, you just want to see the git commit history. You don't want the long hash. It's just git log dash dash one line. And by the way, all of these commands also work in the ref log. I, a lot of times when I just want to see my local commit history, I just actually go get ref log because git ref log is always short. Um, but if you wanted to use git ref log and use any of those format options, it works with git ref log as well. But that's the basics of how you can do the um, one line option with the git log. And there you go. That's how the git one line option works. Now, if you're interested in playing Frogger, I hope you're not disappointed because that wasn't really part of the tutorial. But anyways, if uh, you want to learn more about server side development, head over to the serverside.com. I'm the editor in chief over there and we do lots of stuff on Git, GitHub, DevOps, software development, microservices, you name it. And uh, if you want to follow me and my antics, you can follow me on Twitter at CameronMCNZ.